Hey what's up guys welcome to another video. So the battle between the Samsung Exynos and Qualcomm Snapdragon processor is coming from several years and most of the time the winner was Qualcomm Snapdragon. But now Samsung Exynos 2100 Geekbench scores prove the battle against the Snapdragon 888 will be closer than ever. Both Geekbench listing has been surfaced online and Snapdragon 888 processor official Geekbench listing has been shared by Qualcomm itself which indicates a minimum score of 1132 and a score of 3810 which is obviously 25% faster than the last year flagship level processor from Qualcomm. But in contrast to Exynos 2100 which is going to be the officially revealing on January 12 next year, its official trailer has officially arrived which indicates that a new processor is going to be coming which is going to be impressive and judging from the teaser I honestly think that this is going to be much more improved. Anyhow the popular leakster Ice Universe on his Twitter account tweet showcased that the Geekbench score of Exynos 2100 which indicates a single core score of 1095 and multi-core score of 338 which is obviously a little bit less than the Snapdragon 888 processor but as comparing both the processor there is a minus difference of 4% but according to Ice Universe he believes that the Exynos score will jump more than 4000 in multi-core performance because Samsung is going to make some optimization of the software which will help the processor to perform much better in every situation. If that happens, this is going to be for the first time we are going to see the Exynos is going to beat the Snapdragon processor from several years. With that being said, there is a new processor that is going to be a mid-range category and it is the Exynos 1080. The processor Geekbench listing also shakes on Twitter by Ice Universe as well and it indicates that a single core score of 915 and a multiple core score of 3408 as per leaks on Twitter, which is clearly a great reason to believe that if Samsung mid-range category processor is coming with a 3400 score then the Exynos 2100 will finally reach more than 4000 in multi-core and will eventually make it closer to compete with the Apple A14 chipset and finally beat the Snapdragon 888 processor. Anyhow moving on towards the other leaks, there is a new leak has been appeared for the Galaxy S21 Ultra cameras and according to these images the real camera performance of the device has been surfaced. So according to the leaked images surfaced on the Super Chain Twitter account, he compares the images of S21 Ultra with the Note 21 Ultra at a 50x zoom which clearly showcased the difference between the images. The images in the S21 Ultra look sharper and have much detail than the Galaxy Note 20. Another images indicate that 17x zoom which shows loss of quality in images. And you know the last leak of today is going to be the S21 series cost. According to tipster Ishal Agarwal and 91 Mobiles have outed the European price for the Samsung Galaxy S21 series and as expected they are not very different from the launch price of Galaxy S20 family. According to the leaked information the standard Samsung Galaxy S21 with base storage of 128GB will cost you around 849 euros which is approximately 1035 dollars and the S21 plus with a base variant of 128 gigs of storage will cost you around 1049 and its 256GB variant is set to come with 1099 euros. Meanwhile the top of the line Galaxy S21 Ultra might be priced at 1399 for the 128GB model. If these leaks and prices are correct then the S21 and S21 Plus will cost about 50 euros less than their predecessor when they are launched in Europe. The S21 Ultra though become that much more expensive compared to S20 Ultra. Nevertheless it seems interested buyers won't have to shell out more than they did last year and Samsung might also have some lucrative trading deals to offer so you can get end up paying less. Anyhow let me know your thoughts what do you think about these new processors which are coming inside concerning the Geekbench listing and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you are new here on the channel do consider subscribing it for daily tech video. Thanks for watching this video. Peace.